Hello and welcome to the garden. So I've been busy with all sorts of other stuff and once again I've been neglecting the garden and I looked in here uh, last week, some, just some days ago, not long, and I looked at the pepper plants and, and I said to my wife, we've got to get these tied up soon because they're about to fall over. So I've just come down to the garden to do that and sure enough, one of them has flopped over and another one is well on the way. That's not good gardening. I should have had the supporting strings around these a few weeks ago. Every, every video, it seems, includes the words, I should have done this weeks ago. But stuff does get in the way sometimes. And I don't think it's a disaster. It's just the weight of the plants. And there's a little bit of fruit on these now. They have flopped over a bit. Now, these are not quite as far advanced as they are sometimes. That's because I delayed sowing by a few weeks, deliberately so, because last year the plants were really big when, when I got to planting out, sort of end of April, early May, and uh, some of them had, had fruit on already, just, just tiny fruit, but the plants were really big and it's difficult to, it's difficult to protect them sort of from early to mid April onwards when the plants are big and, and they're really crowded in the greenhouses, in the propagators and covered with fleece and whatnot to keep the cold nights off of them. So I delayed, I delayed sowing just a few weeks and very often when you do that, the plants will actually catch up and sometimes even overtake because they're then growing away under slightly better conditions, better light better daytime temperatures and so on. But this time they they didn't race away, but um, they're doing all right now. They're just they're just a little bit they're a little bit smaller than they I think they, they would normally be. They are plenty big enough though for the weight of those stems to now take them over. There's a little bit of fruit on them that's adding to the weight. So I need to get these tied up and I need to straighten up the poor fellow that has flopped over. So I thought I'd show you what I'm doing with those and show you how I'm pruning and training these. I know I've shown what I do with the, the larger pepper plants on, on previous videos, but no harm in doing that quickly once again. And I've got strings that are attached to various bits of the uh, trellising we've got in the greenhouse and, and that's what I'm gonna use to support these plants. Oh, great. This is like electrical cable. You only have to coil it up for a second and they, they go nuts. I've managed to make a mess. It's just typical. And I'm, I'm too impatient to untangle it, so I give it a good tug and then it's even worse. How did these ever get like this? one of life's many mysteries. They're neat one minute and you turn around and they've suddenly gone crazy. Right, there we go. Two strings. So I've got two strings per plant and that's because I am, generally speaking, training up two stems. Um, now some people bury these strings underneath the plant when they're planted or, or do various things with them. Um, what I do is tie them under this point here where the main stem first divides. So the stem's gonna come straight up and at some point it will start to split. Now, I don't pinch these plants out because I don't want them to start getting bushy. So the, the, pinching them out would be the, the last thing you'd wanna do if you wanna grow plants like this with two main stems. Now occasionally I will let a side shoot come up and, and keep the fruit that's, that's coming off of these, these bits here, but I'm not letting that, that stem grow any further. There's another side shoot there that's carrying some fruit. So I've just kept that for the, um, for the fruit, but uh, 
as always with pruning and training, got to get a grip on the natural growth habit of the plant. So the stem will come up, at some point it will naturally divide. And where that happens, you get the chance for one or more fruit. And there's, there's a fruit hanging in that first junction. There's a fruit here where the stem is split again. There's a fruit here where the stem is split. Now the other side of that stem I cut out. There's a fruit here at this other split and I've cut both sides of that stem out. So th there's no more growing here. This is just holding a couple of fruits. Very often I won't have this. So at each time the stem splits, I'll just, after this first time, I'll just keep one stem. So this is a little naughty extra bit that I've allowed to fruit. But you can grow these perfectly fine, just keeping a pair of stems. If you want, you can have three, whatever, but it's, it's convenient for me here to have a pair of stems slightly separated, so they'll, they'll grow up as a narrow V in this plane, and, and it's easy, then I've got two strings to tie around the base. So, are these the right sort of length? Um, I will need to let off a bit of slack with these. And th there's tons of length of string on these. I will cut these old knots off. And then I want to tie these just under this junction. That's a pretty strong point on the plant and that's where the support will start. So I've got lots of slack here now. I'm just gonna cut off those raggedy ends. I don't need those. And I, d I don't like to leave it, I mean this is quite thick stuff, um, but just to make sure it doesn't cut into the plant stem itself, I'm going to wrap that double. I will then tie around the stem and I can tie that. And then th this is, this is quite, quite thick then and it's not gonna cut into the stem. I mean these stems are quite woody down here anyway. And also, it's not as though that point is taking the weight. The weight's going to be dealt with by winding this around the stem. So um, what I need, I think, no, I'll, ju I'll just do it. Um, if I gently raise that step stem back up to where it should be, I'm gonna get that tie around there. And, and I'm not tying this tight, I just want a loose loop here. So I'll just tie a simple double knot there. Right, so that's, that's one and, okay, I'm gonna use that string on, on that side. Now, when my plants were big enough last year, they'd already divided and when I planted them, I make sure that one stem was pointing that way and the other this way so that they sat in the plane. But as you can see, these have actually divided in this plane. It's a little bit awkward, but it couldn't be helped because when I planted these, most of these hadn't divided. Some of them have, and, and for example, this one is therefore planted exactly the way I would want it. But, but this one is not. And as a consequence, it's slightly wonky. It's always better if they're planted so that when the, the stem first splits, they are in the right orientation. But uh, that can't always be done. Now, what I'm gonna do is tie the other one on. Exactly the same, I'll double that over, make sure, make sure it's really nice and thick there. And if you wanted to, you could loop around a piece of cloth and then tie the strings to that. But I haven't noticed this damage the stem, so I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I mean, it's, the weight is distributed along the length of this string pretty much, and this is now nice and thick. I certainly wouldn't want to use a very thin tie. I think that can cause damage. There we go, just one loop. So now I'm gonna come around this stem and just start looping around. Th this job is much easier if you, if you start it earlier on. Now I've got to sort of thread this string around 
all of this foliage. It's a bit of a pain. If I got these in place earlier, it would have been better. I mean, I don't need it for a while because uh, they don't need it until there's, there's a bit of weight, but and I don't like to do it too early. But now I've just made the job a little bit difficult. Well, tricky, fiddly, let's say. Um, I want to do it without damaging, if I possibly can. You can see where this has been lying over. And that's, that is unfortunate, but it will perk up soon enough. And here's where I want to be a little bit careful so I don't damage the flowers. Right, now I need to shorten this length and then this plant will start to stand up nicely. Well, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna do the other string and then uh, I, can, I can adjust them a little bit further if I need to. Now that string is at least taking the, taking the weight. And this is a, this is a fairly gentle way of doing it because it's sort of taking the weight all the way along the stem. And it is very effective if you get these strings in place early. Great, I've just knocked a flower off. But never mind, um, there are quite a few set on here. So, oh, and while I'm doing it, I'll have a little look to see if there's anything naughty. And under that leaf, there is a cluster of eggs. I don't know what they are. Uh, let's say I don't know what they were. Um, I'm really not sure what they were, but never mind. They are dealt with. This is a bit of a, this is a bit of a mess. I should have done this sooner. Now I'm probably going to take that branch off, so I'm going to ignore that. Um, that one's going to come off as well. Right, and again, if I now shorten this string, that shall start to take some of the weight. Right, now that is standing up right. I'm just gonna just firm the soil in around the base now because I expect it pulled over just a little bit. Okay, so I've managed to sort of rescue that situation. It's not too bad. Now, I've got, that's the stem I want, the one I've wrapped around. I've got this one on the side. I don't want more growth coming up there. Because I knocked a flower off being clumsy, I think I might leave that one. I'll snip up that branch and that branch. So all I've left there is a, is a side shoot with, with one flower and I've taken the others off. This is another naughty branch. So again, out with the, out with the growth. So you can decide how many of these flowers to leave. Now, we did lose, we did lose a few during the, the really hot spell recently because, I mean, like with the tomatoes, they don't always like to set fruit when, when it's really hot and it, and it was blazing. So. Um, what else has to come off? Again, there's another side one here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same. I'll just, I, I will leave that one flower just in case. Once they've, once they've set um, a certain number of fruit, they will then stop setting for a little while while, they, while the energy of the plant naturally goes into developing the fruit that they've got. Um, and then a little bit later in the season, it will start to set fruit again. So I can see on some of these, um, there are flowers that, that are just, just coming off. 
actually there's the fruit has actually set there, there's a there's a young fruit there but it doesn't want to carry them it doesn't want to carry that much anymore now down the bottom I've got some little side shoots coming out and even when you don't pinch your plants out they will eventually start to produce those side shoots anyway um, so I'm just going to make sure that all of those side shoots are gone you can also take off some of those lower leaves now because they're dragging in the soil that's not what you want and we don't really need them anymore these are the leaves that are really doing the the work now but um, if I were on the ball I would be snipping out these side shoots so on this side the stem is split here I've got the flower around the back then I've got these two these two stems this is the stronger one it's also better positioned so I want to nip that other one out with care so that I don't damage the flower that's coming don't want that um, this has already split nicely and actually I'm going to take this one out. So there's a split there, there's a split there. I've got the flowers in both positions and that's the stem I'm keeping. This is already actually divided but, but right in there, very tight together, so I can't touch that yet. But that's it, this, this plant is now happy and as it grows, I will just take out a little bit of slack on the string and twist that round. I should have done that when when they were a little bit smaller and it wouldn't have fallen over but as you can see it's not the end of the world these are actually nice robust plants um, but one cannot expect a i don't know how tall is that we're we're pretty close to to three foot there we must be three foot already yeah maybe more than that it's quite tall to be unsupported and some of these have got a lot more fruit on so some of the fruit looks very nice. Uh, it's going to be a long time before they ripen and these dark green fruits, I don't like them when they're not ripe. The pale green varieties like sweet banana, they're lovely. They don't, they don't need to ripen, but to my taste, these, these are much better when they're ripe. So they're going to be on here a while and as a consequence, we won't get quite as much fruit as if I started to pull off the big, the bigger green ones. So, so there, there are green fruit that are ready on these plants and could be eaten. I just don't want to do it. But anyway, that's the job. Well, that's it really. I just wanted to show you how I'm stringing up and pruning out those peppers. I'm going to do the same to all of these. And most of the time, as I say, I'm, I'm just keeping the, the two stems going up every time it splits just keeping one of those branches. Now, as you saw from time to time, I will let a naughty little side shoot set one or two fruit. It's really just hedging my bets a little bit in case more flowers drop and sometimes they do. So you don't get, even though there's the potential for one or more fruits at every node on the stem, you won't get all of those. I mean, that, that just doesn't happen. The weather conditions won't be suitable. The plant may have already set tons of fruit and it, and it will abort those e extra ones. That's entirely natural. So, so don't expect to get a fruit at every node. Uh, I have had it where they've, they've produced three, four fruits at a node and, and then you have to take some off because they're, they're, they're too crowded in there to develop properly. But in general, you don't get, you, you don't want to keep more than one or two and many of them won't, won't, won't actually develop. So having one or two sneaky side shoots, when the side shoot is already grown, doesn't cause any harm and gives you more opportunities to actually set a new fruit there. Um, of course, if I'd been on top of the pinching out, I wouldn't have those side shoots. So that's, that's a consequence of me being a little bit lazy. But anyway, that is 
it for this video. I just wanted to show you how I'm stringing up and pruning out the peppers. Thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now.